nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen we are getting ready to rumble. Oh, ready to roll. That's right. So let's get back on the road. Let's get some more miles and make our way towards home. Proceed That's right. Yeah. A small little truck stop, but hey, we managed to get a good night's sleep in there. And it is raining as this morning. Yeah. No turnaround. That's a dead end. Okay. In 600 feet, turn right on Avenue of the Saints, US 24. All right, all right. Well, as I told you guys yesterday, I got 890 miles to go. And we'll be home sweet home. Yeah. We grabbed ourselves a cup of coffee here this morning. So we are good to go. I haven't had anything to eat yet, but I'm also not hungry. Yeah. So, let's get back on it. This is just a back road up here. It's not an interstate. On this road for 10 miles. So, yeah. But I don't really mind the rain, you know, it's uh, it's okay. Because that will wash off the salt off of my truck, and uh, I'd much rather take the rain than the snow and ice, right? But guess what? That's what we're to be expected later on today, yet, probably. Probably run into some snow and ice yet. But if that happens, that happens, right? It's okay. Just gotta deal with it. But anyways, let's have ourselves a fantastic day together. Thanks for riding along with me today. And uh, you'll get to see what I see out of the window. Well, guys, as you can probably see, it is fairly foggy out here today. And it is drizzling, a very light drizzle, you know. But uh, apparently there is a scale coming up here somewhere, so... Uh, let's see what that scale has got to say today, but... Uh, better than that, we're just cruising along here on Highway US 218. That's what we're on right now. We have entered Iowa here a few minutes ago. Oh, there is a sign. There's one mile ahead, that's where the scale is, but I was talking to a friend of mine there from Winnipeg and he said they had light flurries there overnight, but uh, nothing to be worried about, but what I'm worried about is the cold. That's supposed to get extremely cold overnight and tomorrow. Well, I don't know if extreme, extreme, but uh, Pretty cold, that's for sure. Well, I don't see no sign yet for the scale. Oh, there it is. I see they are closed. Well, that's what we like to see. But anyways, I was gonna say, uh, it's supposed to drop down to like 27 degrees Celsius overnight. And uh, at 40 Celsius, minus 40, the Fahrenheit and Celsius equal out, so it is going to be a cold one for the next two, three days. Yeah, so we're going to have to make sure that we put some additives into our diesel. So that way our diesel is not going to freeze. And it looks like I can make it very close to Fargo. If not Fargo, there are maybe about 40 miles before Fargo there is a little truck stop up there and uh, looks like I can possibly make it up to there and so that's going to be already in the cold temperatures I 
I looked it up for Fargo and Fargo is supposed to be 28 overnight and uh, minus 28, that is cold. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have to do some preparing for tonight. Even if we don't make it all the way to Fargo, I bet you they're even closer to Fargo, it's gonna be really cold already too, so. We're in for a cold night, that's for sure. But it's winter, what can you expect? Even up here now, I'm starting to see a little bit of snow and the temperature is starting to drop. I only show a plus four right now. Yeah, and it's 8.30 uh, this morning. Yeah, and it's Friday. Yeah, let's see, what day is it? It's the 8th of January already. Man, I can't believe it. Like, it's just like a week ago and we was at the, at the lake and now it's already almost halfway into January, you know. Time just goes so fast. So, uh, well. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what else we'll be able to show you that's of interest to you guys. I've been running for a good while now, guys. For about three and a half hours, I think. So I think it's time to make a pit stop. What do you guys think? I think it is. I'll probably be going to the same truck stop as I spent uh, a couple of nights ago. And we'll go uh, have me a bite to eat in there. That's a nice little restaurant that they got in there. And I actually like it in there, you know. So I think I'm gonna go right in there. And the town I'm uh, talking about is Evansdale. Well, it actually is Elk Run Heights. Yeah, there you go. That's what it actually is called, but it's part of Evansdale. So here we are. I'm gonna take this exit. You can't really see the flying J or nothing up there today. It's so foggy up here today. It's miles hard to see any of these truck stops, but good thing I know where this one is and uh, I have set my GPS up to go there. So we're gonna go in there and take care of some business. That's right. You gotta eat every once in a while, right? We're just human, just like you guys. Gotta use the restroom every once in a while. Normal stuff, just like anybody else, right? I like to do that anyways. So I gotta take my half an hour break. No, regardless, whether I stop here or so I stop somewhere else, I gotta do that. So, uh, what better way than to stop in here and get it done, you know? Let's go down there and uh, Approach and take care of it. It is time for us to hit the road again. We've had our pit stop up here and had our half an hour off. Had a bite to eat. Now it's time to get back on the road. We got a uh, Freightliner dealership right here across the street. So if you're ever uh, in need of uh, Getting your truck repaired. Well, there's a truck repair shop right here. Well, this four-wheeler wants to. <clears throat> four-wheeler just came out of the truck stop there, so I didn't want to cut them off. Because you know that's never a good idea. And them four-wheelers, they get mad at you, and they might call in and playing about you and stuff like that that's the last thing I need somebody calling into our company and complaining about me driving bad you know I like to call myself a professional driver that's right it's still foggy out here as you can see obviously I creating on US 20 West IA 27 North Right. You tell them, RJ. You just go ahead and tell them. You tell them the way you think. <laughs> yeah. I don't ever really go to this Flying J up here that's here to the right. That's not a bad truck stop, don't get me wrong, but uh, they got no restaurant in there, you know? 
Like if I'm gonna go to a truck stop, I'm probably gonna to wanna to eat, right? So if you got no restaurant, it doesn't make no sense for me to go there then, right? Sometimes I don't need a restaurant, sometimes I'm not hungry, I guess, but uh, for the most part, you know, I gotta eat every once in a while. But uh, anyways, let's hit the road over here as soon as we can. And we'll see you guys all down the road. Alrighty guys, we are coming into Minneapolis area. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take the bypass around uh, Minneapolis. And as you can probably tell, it is, uh, well, it is snowing. Sort of. I think so. Something like that. But we are going to take this bypass around uh, Minneapolis. <clears throat> That's the uh, 494. We'll take that bypass and uh, go around. Hopefully it won't be too bad of a traffic through there. But it's been uh, raining pretty much all day long. It's been kind of foggy. It's just been... Not the best of weather, but it's at least it's not slippery. That's the bonus, you know. It's uh, it's very drivable. It doesn't bother me for driving. It doesn't slow me down. Everything is good in the hood, as they say. Now, I don't know if it goes like that, but it just sounded right at this moment. <laughs> yep, that's the way it goes. But anyways, we'll see if we can get our. Uh, out of Minneapolis with no problem. It's like 3 3 or 7 in the afternoon right now. So you know rush hour is gonna start very soon. So hopefully uh, hopefully it won't be too bad yet by the time I get to the other side of Minneapolis I get out of Minneapolis. But uh, anyways we'll be home tomorrow from what it looks like. Alrighty guys and gals we are done for today it is a cold one out here tonight oh yeah and it's even colder at my house where i live in canada yeah i'm about 38 miles from fargo i'm actually east of fargo right now on i-94 and i don't know if you can be able to see it up there on the roof there uh, where them smoke pipes come off of there you can tell when it goes like that, that steam like that, it is cold, oh yeah. It's definitely a cold one tonight. But anyways, we are getting ready to go to bed, so uh, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share the video. And we'll be back tomorrow, so have a good one. behind me that day is gonna come